Okay, this will be my last video for the day. I'm going to comment on this clown who's been talking bad on people's videos since every time, since the first time I heard this man's name. Now, I go to your website and I look and you've got 300 some odd favorites. you got these so-called great black leaders. you got Farrakhan, you got some Malcolm X up there. I don't know if you had any Martin Luther King. I didn't really look that far. I just wanted to see what you was all about. So, you got all these pictures of great black blackness on your page and you got some African guy from the African army as your main picture in the background. Now, whatever you do or whatever you think you do, I know what you do do. You comment on people who put forth an effort to try. Try to what? Try to enlighten some people. And then you know, I make comments about white people, black people, Mexicans, or whoever. Whatever steps in my path that day. Now, I've heard your name on several videos from several different people. Even on 357, you know, and, you know, people like that. More people than that. And I look through the history of what you did on some of these people's websites. All you do is hate. You have no other purpose other than hate. Even when you hate on black people, all you do is hate. Keep on turning my head for a reason. Because all you do is hate. I put up with hate from white people. I put up with hate from Mexicans and black people. But the crap you're spouting is obviously for no apparent reason at all. Because you got all these symbols of blackness on your page, but you ain't got the guts to speak your words. Am I bashing B wise? No. Why should I bash somebody who only has an opinion? Now, people have told me about the freedom of speech. And I know about freedom of speech. That means you can say anything you want to. Is that true about freedom of speech? Can you say anything you want to if you bash somebody? Can you say anything you want to if you say something harmful or hurtful towards somebody on purpose? What is the point of saying something negative if you can't say anything positive? So be wise. What I'm going to do now is look to see if you've said anything positive. So that way I can say something positive about you. As far as I'm concerned, you're just somebody who's afraid to show their face. Someone who is scared of how you will be perceived if you did a video. I spoke to a young man today and I told him how fun YouTube is and that, you know, for your business, it would be fun. And then I told him some of the things that were said about me. The N bomb, and stupid nigger this, and nigger that, nigger this, nigger that. And this was a white man I was talking to. He said, Man, I don't know if I could take that off YouTube. I don't know if doing some fun stuff at my store or whatever. They probably say, You know, man, it's just another fucking junk store. And they diss my store. And I'd be, I'd be trying to go through the computer on these people. Now let's get back to what I said about the freedom of speech. A lot of people have told me when you get negative comments on your page, block the user. Shut them down and shut them off. Why? Why should I do that? Why should I do that? And then when you look at the bottom of the video, you have people defending me. And then you got statements missing. So then when you look at it, the people that are defending me, Look like the ones that are spouting the bullshit. So listen. With good, there's bad. As long as I can be good and you have to be bad, that's on you. But be wise. Be wise and understand this. Your words are shallow without your face backing them up. People have tried time after time to knock me off my game. But I'm not playing a game here. I'm trying to be honest. 
Now, if I gotta be the last honest black person in the universe, believe me. I believe you. I believe you have an opinion. Rather you like your opinion or not. Rather you like your opinion or not. Your opinion to me is no more than propaganda. And everybody knows how I feel about propaganda. Because when I put the little rag or a towel or a scarf or sheet or whatever the fuck you call it over my face. I put that on and I said some things. And then, when I took it off, I said some things. You're no different than the white people who watch my videos, who watch the first minute and assume that I'm just some nigger flipping out on some power trip, but I have no power. The only power I have is the power to try to create a positive aura around the people that are around me. In other words, I have been embroiled so much in negativity throughout my life that all there is is negative. I am so morbid when it comes to thinking about myself that I have nothing positive to say about me. So me being the person that I am, I say positive things about the things that are around me. Not to make myself feel better, but as some of a redemption quality. See. People like drama. Drama is like dope. And when you get enough people high off the drama, then they can't worry about nothing else. You, my friend, provide the drama. But you fail to realize one thing in your application of bullshit. You don't show your face so you can be dismissed easily. The only reason I'm even speaking on you right now it's because I've heard your name a little bit too much and not seen a video. You know, people put you in the same category with the Sergeant Willie Pete. But Willie Pete at least speaks on it. You telling me as long as you've been doing this, as long as you've been on YouTube, you ain't got $18 for a webcam? You talk an awful lot of shit when you type it in. But like I said, you know different than the white people that call me nigger and try to force me off my game. So be wise, other than putting on a video game, driving around on a video game, hunting you down and shooting you down like the bullshit you are. You're not a dog. I like dogs now. You're bullshit, man. Because you can't stand behind your shit with your face. I've been to your website. I've been to your page. I'm not impressed. Because all you can do is type. You can't talk. And for that, the content of your words are shallow. Because if I had to say anything negative about you, then I've already said it. Me being the person that I am, I can't bash you. I can't talk bad about you for your opinion. All I can do is put my hand out and ask you to grab it. And when you grab my hand, what are you going to say? You'll call me a stupid ass nigga or whatever. A lot of people say you're a white guy. Put black people on your page so maybe black people will be easy on you. But all I see you bash is black people. Why don't you go bash somebody else for a little bit? Until then, you've been tubed. And be wise, get wise. Because if you have any stories to tell, you should open up your mouth and tell them. Why don't you become a, a journalist or write a book? It seems like all you can do is type. Type in hateful shit. Try to tell black people that they can't get black people unified. Try to tell black people that they're wasting their time. Try to tell black people that black people ain't worth their time. Don't we get enough of that from white people? I don't know. Maybe you don't. Maybe once you do get enough of it from white people, you'll change your attitude towards black people. A lot of black people can't change their attitude because of people like you. You stay hood. You stay ghetto. You stay stupid. Until then, go ahead and type something falsely about me to bomb this video. I'm pretty sure you will because you have nothing better to do. So thank you for your time. And be wise, you don't even deserve to get the saying from me. You can't have it. Bye.